Hi, I'm Gary Summers, the king of pop culture, and I'm at Brimfield. This is September 2010, and we're having a good time. We're here all six days at Brimfield. We set up a store. We have a lot of fun. How's business been so far? This is Thursday, and it started on Tuesday, right? That is correct. We start Tuesday at 6 a.m. We're in a field with no admission, so we get everybody comes by. It's been slow traffic-wise, but... Everybody seems to be buyers. Used to be a lot of people would come in and say, you know, I had that when I was a kid. My mom had that. Yeah. It's not so much that as people looking for what they can resell, oftentimes buying it to resell online. So they come here, they take on the geographical obstacle of finding the stuff and then try and sell it online. So you've got lots of stuff here. We've got records and movie posters and just a whole tent full of people and things. So what's your most popular seller for this show? So far it's been records. Vinyl is back. I love vinyl. I've been selling records since about 1970 and I opened my first record store in 1974 in Madison, Wisconsin. It's still open today and I'm here today selling a lot of records, toys, memorabilia, autographs, rock and roll stuff and weird stuff. So what, so what is the eBay effect? And this is 2010. eBay is celebrating its 15th anniversary. So um, you know, 15 years after eBay, what's it like? Well, Fleabay affected us initially in about 2000, and it kind of drove the prices down and the market down because people felt that they could find easier by searching online than by searching place to place. So now, uh, I would say in 15 years later, uh, people have realized that uh, when you see it, touch it in person, you know what you're getting and you have a better experience you actually can learn from vendors as opposed to having to uh, learn by mistakes. And uh, so I've found that there are people here buying to resell online. Most people buying here are buying for themselves. Mm -hmm. They really want it at the best price and they want to touch it and see it and feel it. You can only do that in person and with 5,000 vendors set up here, better opportunity to buy it and know what you're getting. And, and you were talking about vinyl, so what are people buying? Are they buying things from the 70s or, or earlier? Oh, it's a variety. People are buying clean condition. One of the problems with Fleabay is unless the <laughs> dealer is a known record dealer knows how to grade the condition of the record and the cover, you're buying blind. You 50% of the time you're going to get the opposite of what you expect. So do you sell online? I don't sell on Fleabay. I have, I don't sell records online, no. It's too hard for people to understand each other. And I'm tired of paying fees to return stuff and I'm sure the person on the other end is tired of paying fees to return stuff and the hassle of it. When you pick up a record and you can look at the condition and it's your opinion of its condition, not somebody else's. Do, do you buy online? I don't buy records online. I buy some things online, yeah, absolutely. I buy from reputable vendors. I buy. So what's hot? eBay, Craigslist. What do you, What do you think? I bought a house on Craigslist. <laughs> Congratulations. Hey, it's hard work, but if you really are looking for the right thing and you can find the right person, again, it comes down to who you're doing business with. And, and you were just on the road show with the antiques uh, antiques road show. So did you find anything interesting? Antiques road show season 15 taping just wrapped up. And I was in three of the six cities. I got uh, to television several times with really cool stuff. Uh, and I'm, I'm different on the show. I'm looking for pop culture stuff to, sh to share with people. So um, the, the, the pickings are slim. I mean, there's a lot of great appraisers on the show. We compete to get the greatest thing to TV. And I'm happy with what I get every time. <laughs> but I can't great. be on every minute of every day. So um, well, I, I, I love it. Thanks for spending some time at Brimfield, Gary. Auctionbites.com rules. <laughs> thanks. It's where you learn the things you need to know that you can't find information and, and anywhere else. And what's your site online? Uh, anyone can come visit us at allcollectors.com. We've got a shop there, allcollectors.com slash shop. And we've got really cool pop culture stuff up on there if you'd like to come and visit. And uh, email me, say hi. Thanks, Gary.